So you, in clinical practice, you often will see patients who come in with mouth ulcers, and we'd call them apophis mouth ulcers. They're normally sort of clearly well-defined uh, small ulcers um, inside the mouth. Uh, they can be painful. They can sometimes be a bit itchy. They can sometimes have a bit of bleeding. Uh, but the key thing to note is that most of the time these are caused by a non-cancerous or a benign condition, and often there is no underlying cause. Um, NICE does recommend that if you suspect a systemic disease, you can do a baseline blood test and things that you'll do would be a full blood count, an ESR, a B12 and a folic acid just to make sure there's nothing else going on. Um, and most of these ulcers do heal within about 10 to 14 days. And some common advice that we give our patients, you can try a you know, analgesic mouthwash like Diflam, uh, you've got sort of Corsidol, uh, and you can also use a low potency hydrocortisone lozenge and that should normally clear things up. The key thing to remember though, and this is why it's very important when you see mouth ulcers, is before the patient leaves, make sure you say to them, if that mouth ulcer has not gone by three weeks, so if you get to three weeks or longer, they must come back in to see you because then that mouth ulcer would be uh, in line with the current two week weight head and neck cancer referral criteria. So you'd have to refer them to the clinic for to have that, bio, uh, that ulcer assessed, uh, plus or minus a biopsy.